my god! I, I have to show this. Just a souvenir shop. Nothing suspicious about it. No need to be alarmed. <laughs> Ah, Nintendo, I love you so much. Also, I fought some trainers on the way down here, and Ezio got a couple of levels. And, ooh, what's going on? Dragonite! Hyper Beam! That looked like a shove. I think Hyper Beam probably would have murdered him. What took you so long, Scott? Well, I didn't fly back like you, because I wanted to get some levels in. Just as I thought. That strange radio signal is coming from here. <laughs> wow. Not even anything to say. The stairs are right here. Scott, we should split up to check out this place. I'll go first. Dragonite slowly comes behind. You have anything to say now, buddy boy? Ah, oh, you found the secret stairway. How did you do that? I thought it was well camouflaged. Well, not well enough. So let's see what's going on down here. Team Rocket HQ. And if I remember correctly, these are some sort of... Yes. Uh-oh! Hey, intruder alert! And if I'm remembering even more correctly, this is the first time... This is actually where Switch Plays Pokemon introduced the democracy system, and why are these people so under-leveled? Or am I really over-leveled? That's probably the actual thing that's going on. But I'm pretty sure this is where they ran into the big problem, which is a maze that's coming up in a tiny bit. No, or am I confusing this with something else? Uh, I feel like I'm confusing this with, uh, no, there was issues here, but I was, oh, there's more people? There's issues here, but I'm confusing it with, oh, the other rocket layer in, uh, red, blue, and, uh, actually, yeah, I think it was a modded version of yellow they were playing the first game. That makes sense, and I think it was the, the rocket layer with the, the walking puzzles, what they got them, so... Maybe they did have issues here, too, which I think they did, but I don't know. It's all in the past now. <laughs> also, I love how my speeding up stopped at that. Da -da! So it was just like, da -da! and all normal type moves will get you wrecked by good old Dre. Well, that was exceptionally easy. Let's just continue on here and hope for the best. And no surrounds over here, no surrounds if we keep on going this way. Maybe this guy will give us some help in turning this stuff off. Sir or madam, I don't judge. What's up, Mr. Rocket Guy? This was once a ninja hideout. There are traps to confound intruders like you. So that really wasn't that bad, and I don't think I talked about it after we pick up this lovely item. And guard spec, something we really don't need. Maybe this computer can actually help us. Two things I think I need to talk about. Secret switch. The red switch is flashing in a suspicious manner. Will you press it? Yes, sir. Better press it. The surround system is off. Cool, so now we can just walk by all those things without getting any trainers. I believe we can leave it on to get more levels, but if these are just going to be tedious fights, and we're already so far ahead. Two things I want to talk about. One, uh... Gyarados, after training all these guys up, I don't want to immediately throw them away just for some sort of shiny Pokemon, thinking it's better than everyone else. Uh, I believe there's a really good TM, and Nugget, that's great for me to buy more items. There's a really good TM up by Lake of Rage, if I'm remembering correctly. Maybe it's Psychic, if I had to take a guess. But, I'll be going to get that in between episodes, or whenever I remember to. And, wow, okay, we didn't even have to go through this puzzle, which I can believe, forget what it is. Does it, like... Oh, yeah, it's Pokemon. That's what makes sense. They didn't get stuck here. They just had problems with the Pokemon. And I don't really want to fight you because you might explode. There we go. That was easy. And what does this do? Does this take us back to the beginning? Yes, it does. So that was completely a waste of our time. Be right back. Okay, now we're back. We can just head down the stairs like we're actually supposed to. And what's going on down here, Lance? Any more problems? Are you alright? Your Pokemon are hurt and tired. Oh, that's wonderful. I was about to just go back and heal everyone up. Scott, let's give our best for our Pokemon. Sounds good to me, weird guy we've just met who has really badass hair and a cool Dragonite. Now, it's hard to, like I said with the laid out, it's hard to remember because I remember like Crystal and how everything was laid out there when everything looked really awful. I don't remember all this fancy new layout and how everything works. The door won't open? Well, duh, it has to have a password that only Team Rocket knows. I kind of walked by that door and didn't make mention of it, but that's where we need to go. And just one grunt. Are your Pokemon going to be more up to stuff? I keep on using the term up to stuff because I don't know. And I need to switch someone else out who needs to get to level 31. 
This is so weird not having someone to carry up and level up with everyone else. Everyone's pretty much on the same level. For everyone's pretty much off the snuff squad. <laughs> Shut the hell up. I get it. I overuse it. I overuse a lot of things. But let's just come over here. And one of those is being cocaine. But hey, don't worry about it. What's up, Lance, my boy? Scott, in order to unlock the door of the radio transmitter, you need the voice of a certain person. The name of this person is Petrel, the Team Rocket Executive. I found out he's hiding in their leader's office. Unfortunately, though, that room is also protected with a password. Scott, we need the password to their leader's office first. So it looks like I'm going to be fighting a bunch of goods. And is he really? Okay, I was about to say, if he walks by him and he doesn't say anything, what's going on, bro? Ugh, the guy in the cape is incredibly tough. I have no choice but to tell him all the secrets about this hideout. Except that our leader's office is protected with two pets. <laughs> ah, I love typical really dumb minions, minions in games. It's like, oh, he'll never know the secret of the password, except there's two. And he just tells another one. I used to work for Slip, but now I run the research for Team Rocket. A meddlesome child like you needs to be punished. And God, I really don't want to press my luck, but there's four or five hunters, hunters, thunders I've hit straight in a row. Do I know the password? Maybe, but no, the weakling's going to get it, so she might actually be an important battle. So I'll put this one on screen. And hopefully our thunder streak will continue. And Snakeins, can we do this well, Maggie? Come on, I believe you need to hit some more thunders. Now you're on screen, it's time for the big time. You need to be hitting these thunders now. And it keeps on going. Maybe my luck is going to be really good when it doesn't matter, but when I need that gym leader one hit KO thunder, he's gonna completely whiff and I'm going to cry. And more gloom, I probably could have switched out and Nope, still one shot, people. It's the return of Ezio. The password for the boss's door is Slowpoke Tail. Okay, there we go. Now we need two passwords. But it's useless unless you have two passwords. Okay, we need to fight some other people and find out what we need to go. I believe the other person's down here that gives the password. Not you, I think it's the scientist guy. I don't know, but... You seem hook, yuck, yuck, yuck. You're challenging me to a battle? Huh, you're nuts, but you've guts. I like that. If you can beat me, I'll tell you a password to the boss's room. Well, I guess I was right. <laughs> Alright, I'm two for two. And let's see if the streak will continue as well as this thunder streak. You only need to hit one in this fight, Maggie. Come on. You got this. And, oh, he gets the jump on us. Does no damage. And, oh, okay, he didn't miss that one. He only flinched. He would have missed it, but he flinched on purpose. And he hits it again. Maggie is such a beast. Also, I, I keep on referring to him, him, even though he has the name Maggie. I mean, if you're a guy with the name Maggie, I'm not going to judge. But also, he's genderless, so it really doesn't matter. So, let's see what it is. The password for the bus's door? Radicate Tail. Very uncreative passwords. Also, very similar to each other. So, it looks like we can head to the boss's door now, and, uh, what did I want to do? Uh, I wanted to maybe use an ether, but I guess I won't, and I'm just going to pick up this Pokeball. I was very afraid, because I know there's electrodes in here, and they could do lots and lots of damage. And protein, and all that. I think I'm going to go fight that guy off screen, and depending on how much damage I take, I'm going to head back and heal up. Oh, cool, there's a TM over here. I thought it was just some useless item that I could show off screen, but it is Snatch that just steals uh, Pokemon's items, so it is still useless. Wait a second. Actually, I might want to, if I remember somehow, want to go farm up uh, leftovers back at that Munchlax area so I can just have all those leftovers. Also, I think there might be an area we can catch Pokemon in here. Actually, I walked by it before the electric thing, but I guess it's kind of too late for that one now. But hey! Whatever, I didn't want to, like a level 7 Pokemon anyway. But we're going to head back and we're going to come back in here with some heals. So because of a crash, I end up not going back and getting those lovely heals to walk into. Also, I have to pick up Snatch again because I picked that up before that. So I'm weirdly out of order now, but let's just continue on with our two passwords and hopefully get where we need to know, which I think is that room over there where we can see but not get to. And oh, wow, that looks very uh, menacing and enormous. I think this is actually where we need to head over to. So it's a required battle, so we might as well show it. Oh, a kid? I don't really like this, but I eliminate you, I must. Okay, so at least there's some guy with some sort of conscience over here in Team Rocket. And as much as Basil needs to get on the 31 level club, and I guess everyone is lower level, so it really doesn't matter. Also, why did I want to go back and heal uh, Basil? She can just do that, and then just do that, and then just be a complete beast. Zubat, ah, we can take him. This is just a really boring battle. I, I forgot for a second actually that I was doing this on screen because 
I also am like spamming the tab. Hopefully that's not too annoying for you guys, but I guess it would be more annoying just sitting here and watching me just spam Razor Leaf over and over again and get the exact same result. So let's just head down here and uh, yeah, this is exactly where we need to go. There's a fancy dude in a hat and I'm forgetting if there is a battle coming up. So worst case scenario, I want to... Mm -mm -mm. Do I have any regular potions that I could just waste on it? Any sort of berries to give- We have orange berries, that's exactly what I need. I would love to do that for you. And can we use another orange berry? Nope, we have to go back to the menu, use another orange berry. See? That was so much easier than walking back, and half the laziness. So let's just head over here and lance again. Uh oh, no arrival! Wow, I picked a really good spot to stop and heal. So you're messing with them again. <laughs> you must really like Team Rocket so much. Tell me, who's the guy in the trait to use Dragon-type Pokemon? My Pokemon were no match at all. I don't care that I lost. I can beat it by getting stronger Pokemon. That's what he said bothers me. He told me I don't love and trust my Pokemon enough. I'm furious that I lost a battle to a bleeding heart like him. <laughs> I don't have the time for the likes of you. Okay, well, we don't have to battle him. That's good with me too, even though we do have two passwords. Good item. Ultra Ball, that is always a good item with me. Also, I forgot to go get Pokeballs because I didn't go back. And the door's closed. Got into the two passwords. The door opened. Hey, buddy. Where are you hiding out? <laughs> We've been waiting for you. So you are Scott. Me? You don't know who I am? It's me, Giovanni. The majestic Giovanni himself. <laughs> huh? I don't sound anything like Giovanni? I don't even look like Giovanni? How come? I've worked so hard to mimic him. Petrol, I'm Team Rocket Execu- M-A, I forgot that A in there, that changes that completely. You must be trying to sneak into the radio transmitter room. Well, I guess we're going there now. Well, that's not even going to happen. That room is protected with a special pack password. The password is, Hail G- You guys are so dumb! Knowing the password won't help you though. The door won't open unless I see the password, it only reacts to my voice. And it looks like we are facing Petrol, and that is a weird way to start the fight. But hey, there's no menacing catchphrase or anything. And now, are you going to be up to snuff with levels? Not really. And uh, just to be safe, we'll switch out to someone who can take care of this a little bit better. Maggie and Confuse Ray, which is quite annoying. Uh, we'll just go for a safe Thundershock, especially if we're confused. Ah, that's annoying. That's just, You're just annoying. You're not very... Oh, wow, that snap out Confusion fast. And that one hit KO, even with the Thundershock. What is he bringing out next? Uh, sending coughing, 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 coughing. Ah, uh, we're still sight, we'll stay in. Also, I really want to see the streak continue or completely fall flat on its face. Streak! And it keeps on going! Is Thunder ever going to miss? I hope not, but... My luck is... This is... This is my luck, baby, is turning around, and usually when I say that, it gets really bad, and let's keep on doing this. Hope for the best. Come on, we can get it here. We can do it. Hey, you're good! Thanks, I already knew that! And thunder for me. God, you can probably hear it throughout this video. And there it goes. I've been going back and forth from like really stuffed nose to not at all because I don't know why it's so stuffy. Okay, no damage at all. But it keeps on getting like a little bit stuffed every time. So every time I take a break, I have to blow my nose. So I might be getting a little bit more nasally. But there we go. It's sad Maggie's streak ended, but Maggie is still a complete beast. I... I couldn't do a thing! Giovanni, forgive me! Since disbanding Team Rocket three years ago, our Giovanni has been missing. But we're certain he's waiting for the right time for our revival. Wahaha! <laughs> Losing you won't change the fact that you are unable to get into the radio transmitter room. You need my voice to unlock it. <laughs> smooth, smooth! Hey, Murkrow, what's up? Hail, Giovanni! Ah! Murkrow is mimicking the voice of Petrol. You may be able to... My boy Murkrow, if he heads the right way. And anything fancy on this computer? Whoa, you should really not be working, looking at that at work, Petrol. Really, that's just... That's messed up. And Giovanni, too. That's just weird, man. Whatever. You do you. And let's see if there's a good item. Good item? And Thief, that's actually, I think, what's the difference between Thief and Snatch? Uh, let's see. 
we're going to go to Thief. Uh, steals the photo that had item. It can't steal if the user... Wait. The user steals the photo's item, held item simultaneously. Attacks. It can't steal if the user holds an item. Wait, 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 wait. What? The user, user attacks and steals the photo. Oh, if the user is holding an item. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. And then Snatch steals. Okay. Snatch is completely useless where Thief is actually sort of useful.